work. Okay, so here is my second on, I don't know, math makes sense, something like that, whatever I called it, part two. And today I want to talk about two to the zero, or three to the zero, or five to the zero, whatever it is. It's good old two to the zero equals one. Now, as a mathematician, I'm very comfortable saying to you, that's the definition. Two to the zero equals one. That's the definition of anything to the zero power. Well, two to the zero, anyway, is one. That's its definition, and you don't get to argue with me. That's just the way it is. <clears throat> but as a normal person, I'd have to say that's pretty annoying. Um, so I can understand why people are frustrated by that. That's not acceptable. And why isn't it acceptable? I think there's a really good reason, a sensible reason why people are bothered by this. And that is, say, say for instance, I said to you the word heasy. Heasy. H-E-A-S. H-E-A-S-Y, easy. Uh, I'm going to define, and it means a concept that's really easy that people think is hard. It's a easy concept. Now, you might say, that's a stupid word. Why would anybody use such a dumb word? But uh, you probably wouldn't say, no, 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 easy means this, and then start arguing with me that easy should mean something else, because you probably have no sense of what easy the word would mean. It's just a dumb word. The problem here is 2 to the 0 equals 1 is stomping on your preconceived idea of what exponentiation to the power means. So erase and let's talk about what we all agree on and nobody seems to have any problems with. 2 cubed. That means 2 times itself 3 times. 2 times 2 times 2. Right? And then 2 squared is 2 times 2. And 2 to the first is 2 times itself 1 time. And now already things start to get a little strange. Two times itself one time? Okay, that's two. But how do you multiply yourself times yourself one time? It's weird. Uh, and now when you go to two to the zero and you start to say something like two to the zero is two times itself zero times, well, now it's just nonsense. You can't multiply it times itself zero times. Sometimes students try to argue that two to the zero should be zero because if you multiply two times itself zero times, you've got zero. But that's already not very convincing because, well, where's the two at all? How, how is that 2 to the 0? How is that 2 times itself 0 times? You mean there's just nothing there? So um, that's not obvious to me that that should be the answer. I say, well, at least you, that's something to think about, though. It's a possibility, a possible answer. Uh, so what I want to point out is this is not like the case of the word heasy. Heasy is just a made-up word that doesn't mean anything, and so it wouldn't bother anybody. But 2 to the 0 is taking... Uh, is ruining a definition that we're all comfortable with. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. It's 2 times itself 3 times. And 2 squared is 2 times itself 2 times. And 2 to the 100 is 2 times itself 100 times. Great. But 2 to the 0 doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and if you're not convinced by that one, if you still think it should be 0 twos, well, what's 2 to the negative 1? 2 times itself negative 1 times? That's garbage. 2 to the 1 half? That's 2 times itself 1 half times? How do you do that? My point is that that definition no longer makes sense. 2 times itself a certain number of times only makes sense if you're talking about positive integers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. It doesn't make sense for fractions, and it doesn't make sense for negative numbers, and I claim it doesn't make sense for 0. But that's okay. Uh, we do this all the time in, in real life. So I wish I had a better example. This is my best word I can think of. Heasy I made up, I bet you guessed. Uh, cold. The word cold. Cold to a child means Temperature. It's cold outside. I'm cold. I'm shivering cold. That's a good, solid meaning that we're all comfortable with. But it's not the only meaning. We've generalized the idea of cold. Generalized it out there to mean, say, for example, emotionally cold. Well, when I say somebody is emotionally cold, you know, he's a very cold father or something like that, I don't mean he's physically cold. It's possible that he's physically cold, but that's not what I mean. Now, that's different from 2 to the 0. I can't mean there are zero twos 2s or 2 times of 0 times. To me, at least, that's just nonsense. So in this case with cold, which is why I thought I could come up with a better example, uh, a person could be physically cold and emotionally cold at the same time or not one or the other, etc., etc. It's more confusing. English is more confusing than math. But there's an essential characteristic of cold, the temperature, and cold, the emotional state, that are related. There's something underlying them that are both the same. And I have to say, I don't really know what that is. But I'm sure it's true. There's something. There's something cold, physically cold, about emotionally cold people. I, I, I don't know what that means. I just, it just feels right. And that's the thing about things that aren't math. 
They're not precise enough for me to be able to spell it out. But in this case, it's math and I can spell it out. So what is the property of this 2 times itself 2, 3 times, 2 times, 2 times, 2, that I'm trying to capture with the definition of 2 to the 0? So I'm redefining this 2 to the power in a way that makes sense. So 2 to the 0 is 2 times itself 0 times doesn't make sense. 2 to the negative 1 as 2 times itself negative 1 times doesn't make sense. But there's a something, there's a coldness, there's a underlying idea here that's, that's working. It's quite simple. If you go from 2 to the first to 2 squared, all you're doing is multiplying by 2. And that's how you get to 2 cubed. So you, from 2 to the first, you multiply by 2 and get 2 squared. So from 2 squared, you multiply by 2 and get 2 cubed. And so on, 2 to the fourth would just be multiplying by 2. But I don't want to go up. I don't want to go from 1 to 2 to 3. I want to go down. I want to go from 3 to 2 to 1 to 0. So how do I undo? How do I go backwards? Well, we just talked about that. That's division. Division is undoing multiplication. So divide by 2. That would get me from 2 cubed whoop, to 2 squared, from 8 to 4. Divide by 2 to get from 4 to 2. That's 2 squared to 2 to the first. And hence, therefore, divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And let's go one more step. 2 to the negative 1, you would divide by 2 again, and you get 1 divided by 2, one half. So this is a definition. 2 to the 0 is 1. But it's a definition that makes sense. And it makes sense by being consistent with a property, a very simple property of exponentiation. That is, you're multiplying by 2 to go up, you divide by 2 to go down. It does not make any sense to talk about this as 2 to the negative 1 is 2 times itself negative 1. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't mean we don't get to have the word. That now doesn't have a previous meaning. It's like easy. It doesn't have a previous meaning that can be ripped up and confused me. It's a totally new word that's consistent like cold is. Okay?